What's going on guys? Welcome back to Life by the Bow. Super pumped today because me and my buddy Tommy, we're going fishing and later on we're gonna come back and pick up my wife Stephanie and we're gonna go out there and hopefully have a really good day. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna load up into the boat. We're gonna go and catch some bait and just see what we can do. Like I said, we're just out there to have a little fun. But before we get going, one thing I suggest guys is hitting the subscribe button. We come out with new videos on a weekly basis, and if you guys like good, high quality content, that's what we're here to do. So, let's go ahead, let's get out there, and let's see what we can put together. Come on. All right guys, so we just got the cast net all loaded up and we are in a little basin here. And the reason why we decided to come here first is because we're trying to find bait. I typically find mullet and pilchards here and it just so happens that it is just absolutely loaded with pilchards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up on those first and um, from there kind of just put together a little game plan and see what we can catch. Hopefully it's a successful throw. Always nice when you can throw a couple times, get the bait, go fishing. That's what it's all about. Get your bait spots dialed in so that way you don't have to spend too much time looking for them. I do that a lot on my off days. I'll just go out on the boat and just look for bait. That way when it comes time to actually fish, I can come to these spots and I can catch more than enough. Just like that, baby. <laughs> Got a little mangrove snapper in there. All right guys, so since bait fishing was relatively easy for the most part, we decided to run out to about 120 feet here, see if we could do a little grocery shopping before Stephanie gets home, and um, see if we can pick off something to eat. Let's see what happens. Oh, something's eating it. It feels like it at least. Yep, there we go. Fish on. Got something on here, baby. I don't know what it is, but it feels good. Oh, I'll be so happy if we got some dinner. It's exactly what we need. We need some dinner, baby. Whatever it is, it feels like a good fish. It's fighting. Doesn't really feel sharky, so. Hopefully it's something we can put on ice, baby. Come on. We need some dinner. That's what we came out here for. Do a little grocery run. Go have some fun, fish the bridges. God, that would make for an amazing afternoon. Oh, it's coming up. Come on, what do we got? What do we got? Be something good, baby, come on. Whatever it is, it's fighting all the way to the surface. It feels like a good fish. See it, there's our weight. And after our weight, we have about 40 feet to bring in. Wanna make sure not to release any tension on that. Typically, I'd take the weight off, but we're just gonna see. We got a mutton, baby! Woo! -hoo! Tommy, that's what I'm talking about. That's a nice one, too. <laughs> Check that out, baby. We got dinner for the night. Nice, man. So, it's funny. The last video that we caught a mutton, people were sitting there telling me, hey, when you brought that fish up, it looked dead. And the God honest truth is, is he is dead. We just brought him up from about 100 feet. So there's a lot of pressure down there. So when we bring him up to the surface, a lot of the times that automatically kills the fish. But luckily, this one is big enough to keep and we are going to be cooking him this afternoon. Backyard grocery shopping, baby. You. Let's go, 
Oh, there we go. Getting the bite. Fish on, baby. Tommy's got one. <laughs> nice, man. Second fish of the day. Just caught our mutton, as you guys just saw. Hopefully, we got another one for Tommy to take home. Gosh, man, spring is in full swing. We've been doing so many fishing videos throughout the winter and there has just been no current. Today, Tommy and I came out here and the current is just ripping. Ripping so hard that we have to use the trolling motor and the combustion motor at the same time just to stay on spot lock. So once you got current, fishing automatically just turns on. And hopefully we got a good fish here, man. Feels like a good one? Nice. So go ahead, grab onto that weight, Tommy, bring it inside the cockpit, and then just hand light them in the rest of the way. There you go. Set that rod down. Looks like a mutton. Yeah, baby, another mutton. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Damn, yours is massive, too. Look at the size of that one. Hey, up top here, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Two in the boat, what would you say? About 30 minutes it's been? Yeah, he's a good size dude, look at him. Yeah, hold him up so we can see him. Nice dude, look at that. That's not your first mutton, is it? Nice. He's a tank, dude. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a dinner size mutton right there. <laughs> Sweet dude. Well, I would say what a great afternoon, but we really didn't even fish that long. We literally fished for like, I would say what, like 45 minutes, Tommy? Yeah, roughly. Yeah, so we caught three muttons. One of them, we actually ended up releasing him because he was too small. But um, two, within that short period of time, I'm honestly not complaining, but at this point, all we're gonna do is just get in between the meat and the skin. And I'm gonna pull the skin, push, do this in all of our videos hopefully by now you guys are pretty good at filleting based on seeing me do this but that's it right there take out these pin bones and that right there is ready to eat now let's go see if we can catch a bridge monster so here she is for those of you that don't know this is my wife stephanie Hi guys. And we are going out for round two now. Got our mutton snapper carcasses. We're gonna go try to catch some live mullet. What do you say, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Neutral? Or no, just keep neutral. going, keep going. I didn't know there was a neutral button on this thing. There is a neutral. <laughs> no, there's a stop and go. Look at the, are those? Uh, yeah, those are definitely mullet. Yeah, mullet are smart though. They know to go and stay. Do you know right if there's any the correlation between the mullet haircut and a mullet fish? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really see a resemblance. Look at them all pushing out. Okay. Let's just try to get a really thick group of them because you know how they are. As soon as you throw, they're Look, out. they're up here busting. Okay.
Look at that. Tommy just got a little black grouper. That's what's so cool about bridge fishing here, guys, is you can literally catch everything that you could basically catch out on a patch reef. I mean, you can catch mutton snappers, groupers. There's just so much life around all of these bridges. He's not big enough to keep, and they're also out of season, but man, I mean, just look at the colors on a black grouper. It's pretty, pretty insane. Like, the contrast is just unbelievable between the white and the black. Crazy. That's sweet though. Good job, Tommy. Yeah, awesome job. So we got a fish on here, baby. No telling what it is. We had a piece of mutton skin on the bottom. Just because tarpon, nurse sharks, all those types of fish, they love eating scraps. So we have that right behind the boat right there. The mutton carcass, and then we just put the skin not too far back behind it. And before we knew it, we were hooked up. So whenever you're fighting a big fish, guys, literally just want to keep that rod tip high, reel down. Once the rod tip gets below the horizon, pull right back up, reel down, pull up. And put that body weight into it. That's right. Lock your back and just lean back, really. That is a massive. That is Probably one of the biggest nurse sharks I think I've ever caught before. Wow. Man. Wow, that's a massive one. You want to catch a big fish? Come to the bridge. Oh my goodness, that one's even bigger. There's like multiple. See you later, dude. Hey. Yes. That was sweet. So, today was unsuccessful, and I think I know the reason why. I Tarpon was... fishing was unsuccessful. Yeah. Not completely. Well, I wasn't putting in as much work as I probably should have. I'm a little tired, mm -hmm. but we caught a massive nurse shark. Black grouper. And you caught three muttons earlier. Yeah, two of them we kept. One of them, too small, couldn't keep them, had to throw them back, but that's okay. But it's okay. You can make up in the kitchen for all the work you didn't do out here. So thank God we did get those fish. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead, head back to the house. Um, they're already cleaned up. So, so I'll just clean up the boat. And I gotta cook them up. Let's go. Tonight is getting hot in here because we're whipping up my favorite fish. We are going to be cooking mutton snapper and we're gonna top it off with a lemon cream sauce. And all you're gonna need is a baking pan because we're gonna be baking it. You need some heavy whipping cream, salt, pepper, Dijon mustard, some lemon, garlic, shallot, some Italian parsley to top that off, and butter. And then you got yourself a good old recipe. All right, so right now, I just finished chopping my parsley. As soon as my timer goes off, I'm gonna top the fish with some parsley, some lemon wedges, and then it's gonna be complete. So, something I wanted to talk about with Woman's Appreciation Day, um, just passed, it was uh, March We missed 8th. it, yeah. Yeah, we missed it. But we're making up for it right now. We are. And something I kind of wanted to talk about is I have a lot of followers who are reaching out, well fans, that reach out and just say like how amazing it is to see a woman out there fishing. And it's awesome to hear, but I just want to encourage any girl who has a passion for fishing, to being out on the water, just go and do it. Like I know I was so intimidated when I first started fishing, but Clay helped me along the way. He really did because he just, he was so patient with me when I was learning because man did I mess up and it's okay to mess up and that's how you learn. And I just, I wasn't always the way that I am. So I'm encouraging anyone with a passion and that goes for kids, for women, um, men who are still learning, like mm -hmm. get out Anybody there. Anybody really. Yeah, just get out there 
and go do it ask questions yes, don't be nervous don't be afraid yeah because and i the, still could ask questions to this day i'm always asking people we fish with who fish for a living i'm like okay so why are you doing this not why are you doing that i like to know because i can always bring something new home and practice and use it while i'm fishing mm -hmm. and there's no such thing as a dumb question no but not if at all. somebody's going to treat one of your questions like a dumb question that's probably not the type of person you want to be around yeah. but yeah at the end of the day you know i agree 100 percent with absolutely everything you're saying you know guys if your lady makes a mistake encourage her mm -hmm. you know don't scream at her don't get upset with her because at the end of the day that's just gonna make it that much more difficult for her to recover yeah. you know tell and her it's gonna intimidate her too it's gonna keep her from you know wanting to fish i i, I may like back off and be like hey i yeah, don't want to step yelled out at. yeah but encourage her and tell her what she can do rather than what she can't do so at the end of the day guys let your lady get involved and ladies don't be afraid to get involved. Yeah. Would you agree? I 100% agree. And you know what? My timer just went off, so that means the food is ready. Yeah, let's not burn that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. So, so this looks pretty darn delicious. It does, smells good. Now, we're just taste testing the recipe. Let's see, Let's see oh, if it's yeah. good enough for all of you to try, which all of our recipes are down in the video description below, mm -hmm. where we also have a link to Avail Performance Gear, which is our clothing company. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are interested in purchasing some gear, go ahead and click on it mm -hmm. and buy yourself some gear. I gotta tell you, mm. it's really, really good. So good. Delicious. So, that being said, make sure you guys go down in that video description. Hit the link to this recipe, because mm -hmm. it's delicious. I'm sure you can do it with yes. any type of fish. Yes, you can. And then, mm. thereafter, make sure you go to Avail Performance Gear, because we actually have two sales, actually multiple sales going on right now. One for the hooded performance shirts, another for the regular performance shirts, 20% off, but did you want to say anything about the women's line? I do. I am super excited for this women's line. The fit is going to be much better, especially for me. I have a really short torso, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to be wearing a dress anymore. Little girlier colors too. Yeah, so we got some pink in there. Mm -hmm. And um, it should be out by summer, so summer I'm pumped. And you guys will be the first ones to see it. And you'll be seeing me wearing them in the shows coming, the Without coming shows. Doubt. Yeah, of course. And um, I just want to mention that I am so happy that you guys have continued to watch this show, and we continue to grow. Um, and appreciate all the comments. Oh yeah, appreciate all the comments. Because when people comment, literally, it just shoots right up through the YouTube algorithm, and it allows us to grow so much quicker. Same thing when you hit the like button, and when you subscribe, notification bell. Anything that you can do to engage with us on YouTube helps us tremendously. And we try our hardest to get back to all the comments. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just not possible, but for the most part, I literally go through there every day and just try to answer as many as I possibly can. Yeah. So. So continue commenting, like this video, subscribe if you're new, and we will see you guys next time. That's right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week.